This lovely looking drink is an Irish apple whiskey sour. Let me show you how to make it. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Matt, I'm the Whiskey Nerd, and like I said, this week we're making an apple whiskey sour, which is a very nice, very flavorful version of a whiskey sour that I think just adds a nice bit of freshness and a nice bit of flavor to a classic cocktail. So let's not waste any time and let's get into the ingredients of this cocktail. We are gonna be using Rowan Co. Irish whiskey because it is just my go-to whiskey when it comes to making cocktails. It's solid, good flavor. It comes in at 45% ABV, so it has a nice bit of weight. It will deliver some nice whiskey flavor into your cocktail without being overpowering, without dominating the flavors in the cocktail. We're also gonna be using some lemon juice, some egg white, some vanilla sugar syrup rather than just regular sugar syrup, and some apple. We're gonna be using about half of a Granny Smith apple, which I've already pre-sliced into wedges just to save some time because we're gonna be muddling it at the bottom of our shaker tin. Granny Smith apples, they're very nice, but they're sweet and they're tart, and that kind of mixture of that kind of tartness and that sweetness really plays well with the lemon juice that goes into the cocktail. So let's not waste any more time and let's get muddling our little apple slices. So we're just gonna pop these into the bottom of our shaker tin and we're just gonna muddle it down for about maybe 20, 25 seconds just to get all those juices really ex uh, kind of out of that apple slices just so we get all the flavor. Okay, that is nicely muddled now. So we're gonna add in the rest of our ingredients. We're gonna start off with a nice large ice cube and then we're gonna add in our whiskey. So like I said, this is Rome Co. Irish whiskey. So we're gonna add in 60 ml or two ounces of Irish whiskey. We're gonna be sticking pretty close to that kind of classic whiskey sour formula of two part spirit, one part sugar and one part sour. But because we added in the Granny Smith apple, which has, you know, it has a bit of sweetness and it has a bit of tartness, we're only gonna be going in with 20 ml of lemon juice rather than 30 ml. So we're going in with just a little bit less, just because we've already got some tartness added in from that Granny Smith apple. Similarly, we'll be using some vanilla sugar syrup, which really does add a nice bit of flavor to this kind of cocktail. It makes it nice, makes it rich, makes kind of like, a, almost like an apple pie kind of cocktail, but we're only going in with 20 ml of our vanilla sugar syrup because we just want to add a nice bit of sweetness without overpowering the rest of our ingredients. And lastly, we are going in with one egg white. Now, I have already separated out the egg white from an egg into there, so that's very simple, very easy to do. And now we're just gonna shake our cocktail for about 30 seconds to get everything nice and mixed, to get a nice foamy head on it, and to really extra kind of muddle up all that apple with that big ice cube. So 20 to 30 seconds. Okay, I think that is nicely chilled, so we're gonna pop the top off our shaker and we're gonna get ready to strain it out into a nice coupe glass. Now, because we've got all that muddled apple at the bottom of our shaker tin, we are gonna double strain it, so we're gonna be using a fine strainer just to catch any of that pulp that kind of fits through the first strainer. And oh yes, we can see we've already got a very nice, very lovely, thick texture coming through from that egg white. Oh, that just looks very good. And I can tell from our fine shaker that we have caught a fair amount of the apple pulp in there. So I'm very glad we used that fine strainer because that'll give us a nice clean presentation on our cocktail. And that right there is how you make an apple whiskey sour. Now real quick, while I wait for this to settle, if you're new here, scroll down, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button. I put out whisk reviews on Wednesdays. I put out cocktail recipes on Fridays. So if you want to see more, make sure you scroll down hit that thumbs up button and you'll see more like this. I think that is about as settled as it's gonna get and I think it looks fantastic. I mean, if you want, you could garnish it with a little slice of apple over the edge, but I think that clean presentation just looks really nice, especially as you've got that little bit of green from that uh, apple skin from the Granny Smith apple coming through. I think it just looks really nice and really unique as it is. So let's taste it. Cheers. That's very nice. As you lift it up to your mouth, because you got all those bubbles, they're popping. You get the nice kind of tartness from the Granny Smith comes through. You get that kind of lemony note a little bit, but it's mostly that apple because it kind of overpowers the lemon juice in there. Lemon juice gives a nice kind of base of sweetness, but then that apple really does shine through. The vanilla as well gives it a nice bit of flavor. I'm glad I didn't use just regular old sugar syrup. 
the vanilla adds, it does make it kind of like, like an apple pie with a little bit of caramel sauce on top because the Rowan Co Irish whiskey has this really great kind of caramel butterscotch flavor that comes through and that really does shine into the cocktail. What do you think? Are there any great whiskey sour variations that you like? Let me know down in the comments below because I'd love to hear from you. Me though, I'm going to keep on enjoying this and I will see you next time. Sláinte.